Columbia hired two people to test gear in the most extreme conditions on Earth. These are those people. The Directors of Toughness. Mark and I are getting ready to go on a Pacific Northwest road trip. I'm really excited. We've been traveling all over the world, but now we get to explore kind of in our own backyard. Every time I've had the chance to explore the Northwest, I've found something new and amazing at every corner. First leg of the trip, we're going to be heading down to Southern Oregon and doing some kayaking. So I'm really excited to be on the water. And I just got my permit. Faith's going to drive. Faith just got her driving permit. Uh, being from New York City and all, she's never had a car. All right. Yeah, we got, we got airbags in the car. We'll be fine. A touch more gas. There you go. Now you're on the iPhone. Oh my god. How do you feel? Really, really nervous. Really nervous, but we're doing good. Okay. Nice work. How's it going, guys? Hi, good. How are Welcome. you? Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Tyler. Hey. Mark. Mark. Nice to meet you. Good. My name is Tyler, work for Momentum River Expeditions, and I've been guiding for about 13 years on rivers all throughout the United States, as well as in South America, Central America, and Canada. Today we'll start out by uh, giving them a little bit of an explanation of whitewater safety on the beach here. Then we'll get out on the water for a little bit of a training day for today. So anytime we're in the rapids, we want to be paddling aggressively into waves. You always want to make sure if you do end up in the water that you're never shoving your feet down to the bottom of the river, because that invites a dangerous scenario known as foot entrapment. All right, that's pretty much the most dangerous thing that could possibly happen to us out on the water. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about, I mean, I can swim and I have the, I have the light vest. It's time to get on the water. We're gonna be on inflatable kayaks for the next three days and we gotta carry all our stuff with us. I'm not so nervous, no, Tyler seems to know what he's doing. I'm gonna try and stay in the boat, although I'm pretty certain at some point over the next three days, I'm gonna be getting wet. Make sure as we come into the wave train, we wanna be paddling through the wave train. Good, always orienting your bow straight into the waves as they come. First moments on the kayak today. This is the beautiful calm before the storm. All right, so we're hanging out right above the Devil's Toenail, which is one of the larger rapids on this section for the day. So it'll be a good time for us to kind of test the skills we've been gaining throughout the day. Being out here, you can definitely see how powerful the water is and how you can very easily get into a sticky situation. It's fun, but it's definitely, it's a little uh, nerve wracking. All right, good job, guys. Finished our training day on the Klamath here. From what I've seen so far, I think we're ready for Clear Creek tomorrow. So Mark and Faith did pretty well yesterday on their training day on the Lower Klamath. So at this point, I feel pretty good about taking them out to a more remote wilderness setting here on Clear Creek. It's pretty much continuous rapids all the way down for two or three miles. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we get on. Uh, the water here is a lot colder than it was yesterday. It is beautiful. It's gonna be a pretty continuous day, so I have a feeling that I'm gonna be really exhausted by the end. All right, Clear Creek, here we come. They're gonna be dealing with a little bit swifter current and a little bit tighter constriction in these rapids. They're gonna to need to maintain really good balance in their boat and then being able to sight out good and safe places to stop in between those rapids. This is pretty awesome. We're probably like halfway through our day having a great time on the river. It's so beautiful out here. We're gonna move from Clear Creek onto the Klamath and then get up to where we're setting up camp today. Uh, it's 8.30 on day two and we are sitting by the river. We just had some food. We had a great day out there, huh? All right. But you reckon tomorrow is going to be even more difficult? Don't you? Uh, we're going to have some bigger waves tomorrow, that's for sure, and a little bit bigger water than we uh, than we handled on the Clear Creek today. So I think you guys are doing good, but it's going to step up. It's a bit colder this morning and a bit wetter. Getting back in the water is quite a daunting prospect. This is the day where. The rapids are a bit bigger, the water's moving a bit faster, and there's a pretty good chance that Faith or I are going to take a swim. So we've got our, uh, our first rapid of the day coming up here. Remember, when in doubt, crank it out. Paddle hard. It was cold and it was rainy. 
for sure. We had water below us, we had water <laughs> coming down out of the sky, but I mean, I was layered up really well, so I felt comfortable. Definitely thought I was going in there. <laughs> Scouting what might be one of our trickier rapids. I think that makes us get out of the boat and go scout kind of is alarming. So we're gonna be going around the corner, staying on the right-hand side of the river. There's gonna be some pretty big waves and holes down there. Let's do it. Let's do it. I just did a bit of a swim there. It was pretty, uh, pretty decent sized waves. And I just got wiped out. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Today was incredible. In fact, the last three days have been uh, amazing. It's really nice to learn a new skill and it's something that Faith always says, you know, how often do you get to do something for the first time? I was pretty pleased I was able to stay in the boat. It was definitely some combination of good luck and uh, getting a little bit better at paddling. All right, guys, made it through Clear Creek and the Klamath River. Very proud of you. I was instructed at the end of our travels to give you this from Gert. All right. Your next assignment. Thank you. Thank Good luck you. to you guys. You survived the river, now go and climb to its source. Shasta, the mountain guides are waiting for your arrival. Sweet. <laughs> Up we go. Mark and Faith here. Thanks for checking out part one of our Pacific Northwest adventure. Click here to see our favorite gear from the river trip. Missed the last episode? Click here to see just how hot it got in Death Valley. Thanks for hanging with us. Hit the subscribe button to keep following along on our journey.